ho ho! Guardians, it's almost Christmas time. There's only 34 days until a holly jolly good old Christmas vacation. You know what? During that weekend, I will upload so hard, harder than the beat drop of the background music in this video. Anyway, what? What's that? You ask why I'm so happy right now? It's because I'm back with another cringy video. Obviously. Oh, and because Bungie just did another Curse of Osiris livestream, but that one's not a big deal. Just kidding. Let's get to it. And then uh, as well, we have to have um, the, the Vansinator, the brother Vance. The he's, Vansinator. You really, did you have to do that? Yeah. <laughs> So I can make everybody groan. Oh. Um, uh, well then, guardians, you will all feel like kindergartians after watching this video. See what I did there? Kindergartians? No? Okay. So anyway, I have a ton of news to cover today, so let's actually get to it now. Now, I've talked about this a lot in my previous videos, which if you haven't seen them, link in the description. And if you don't watch at least one of them, you will find the head of a horse in your bed when you wake up tomorrow morning, marking you for execution. Whoa, whoa, Captain. Too deep. Too deep. So, I've talked about weapon forging a lot recently, but now there's more to cover. So let me quickly round up how you forge weapons in the Curse of Osiris, and then I'll move on to the new news. So basically, there's this circle thing, that, there's little circles around it, those, each littler circle represents a modded Vex weapon. Once you get a modded Vex weapon, one of these circles will light up with an Egyptian hieroglyph like this. You forge weapons at the forge, what a coincidence. You can only get these weapons after the campaign through optional side quests. There you go, now for the new stuff. You get these lost prophecies from the Vansinator. Ah. You get a selection of three at a time. How do you get to the point that he offers these to you? No clue. Choose one. You'll get the prophecy tablet which you need to charge with certain materials, namely concentrated radiolarian culture, advanced paradox amplifiers, and fossilized Hermaean blossom. You can earn these through playing strikes, crucible matches, and heroic adventures on Mercury. Yes, heroic adventures. I'll get to that later. Once you've charged up your tablet, now you must go back to Brother Fans to transmit your tablet. Then, you can head over to the forge, forge your own weapon, and get an epic light show. Then, you've got yourself a forge weapon. Shall we move on? Now, since I ended the last info just before on, say, a cliffhanger on heroic adventures, let me elaborate. So yes, Bungie is trying to make adventures more fun to play and more challenging. Starting on December 5th, the release of the Crystal of Cyrus, adventures can now be heroic and have plenty of different modifiers too. On Mercury, you get adventures from Brother Vance and I believe that they are replayable too. Adventures on Mercury will bring you to different places that will not be accessible without the adventure. This is some adventure gameplay right now, by the way. These Guardians are playing an adventure called The Up and Up, in which they head to the dark future in the Infinite Forest. Now, Bungie gave us a little hint about something that I'm not quite sure what it is yet, and it is driving me crazy. Apparently, there is a secret in the lighthouse, just like every social space in Destiny 2 has so far, I guess. Just listen to this. And then we also have a, a mystery that you can solve, uh, that if you are attentive, you can start to kind of piece together in this space. As you can see, there is some sort of secret Bungie is keeping from the community. If you guys have any ideas or if you know what it is, feel free to share your opinion in the comments below. Anyway, there's some other stuff to cover, like Bungie's largest public event to date. So let's take a look at that while I explain how it works and how to activate its heroic modifier. So once this event activates, the middle of the map will open and it will only open for this public event. You'll notice that it looks like an EMP is going off or Vex are spawning. Anyway, whether you're to the left or right of the middle, kill the Vex coming out of the portals. This will draw out the Gatekeeper. After killing the Gatekeeper, it will drop two orbs that the Bungie staff call keys. Slam these keys into the two plates nearby. Then go onto the jump pad to go to the other side and repeat the same thing. 
After you've done the same thing, go onto the jump pad again to go to an island right behind you. You will kill the gatekeeper again and slam the orb. Now I'm not totally sure on how to activate the heroic modifier, but as you can see in this gameplay, a diamond shaped vex thing spawned here and you can destroy it. I believe it's only there for a limited time and that it's not the only one you have to destroy in order to activate the heroic mode, so keep your eyes out guardians. Then go to the island on the opposite side to do the same thing and finally head to the middle to defeat the gate lord. If you do not activate the heroic version, all you have to do is kill him. But if you did activate the heroic, the heroic mode, a gate lord will spawn, kill him, grab the orb, head to the plate right above the area where the gate lord spawned, using the jump pads, slam the key to take down the shield of immunity, and kill the gate lord. That was a lot to say. But now I'll just let the gameplay roll, I'll let you watch until the public event ends just so you can see how the boss battle plays out, and then I will come back with the commentary. Anyway, as you guys saw, you get two chests this time, but get garbage from each. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. Also, I hope to see you all in the very next video.